aspect that what are the roots of the cloud computing? What makes the cloud computing? As you can see, cloud is providing so powerful, uh, you could say that use cases here. So what could be the root? How the cloud has been originated? So this is the root of the cloud computing. Cloud computing is the amalgamation of hardware based resources, internet technologies, system management and distributed approaches. So if I talk about the hardware based resources, right, all the aspects of virtualizations that we have learned till date are covered here and which play very important role, right. So we are able to acquire the hardware infrastructure or hardware virtualization facility. We are able to virtualize our hardware equipments, hardware resources, we, uh, our CPUs, our RAM, our network interface cards, right? How we are able to do so? It's only due to the virtualization. So virtualization plays a vital role. Similarly, you can't think about the cloud-based solutions if this term is not present means before without the internet capability you are not able to achieve the cloud based solutions so all the aspects of internet technology whether it is consisting of web based applications right or some mashups mix up of all the things and even if we talk about the service oriented architectures each and every aspect of internet technology is covered or is the root that provide a cloud based solution. Then if we talk about the system management, so you might have seen that nowadays we are working with modern data centers. So when I say modern data centers, I simply mean software defined data centers. Software defined data centers are having their own capabilities. They are processed or equipped with the autonomic computing resources like they are having the AI facilities, the machines which are part of the software defined data centers are having the capability to uh, do some autonomic tasks depending upon the algorithms and the machine learning that we are applying on them. So this is very important aspect here how we are managing our infrastructure thus these uh, system management plays a vital role in uh, contributing to the cloud computing market. Last but not the least, which is a distributed approach. Distributed computing has uh, uh, been a uh, has been a revelation in the field of the cloud computing because if I uh, give you a very simple example, we all are using the Facebook, right? But do we know? the data center where our accounts are actually stored, how and where from where we are able to access our computing resources, wherein our account is actually located. So all these things are only due to the power of this distributed computing. Distributed approach provide us the facilitation that we are having the privilege to store our data centers or to store our data at remote locations. So the important aspect of distributed computing is utility computing, grid computing. So we will be understanding about distributed computing in the next slide also. As distributed computing is a powerful uh, resource in terms of providing cloud based solutions. So the important aspect is to understand how does it works. So I have taken a very simple example to explain you this criteria. If you will see here, we have a problem. This is a one single set of problem. Now how to resolve it? If a single machine has to resolve this problem, then it will take a lot of time. It will consume a lot of time. So what we are doing? We are trying to resolve this problem in the distributed environment, wherein we are using some master nodes, which whose job is to simply assign the task to different different systems. Now these systems can be geographically dispersed also, okay, or they can be placed in the one single location, means they can be placed location, uh, locally also. 
so this is the power of working with the distributed approach so if we are distributing our work so definitely the computation time will uh, decrease so we will be able to achieve the performance so this is what is the approach being used in the distributed systems so multiple autonomous computers see you need not to know about these computers also this can be working on different aspect this can be having a different configuration also even if you need not to bother in case of distributed approaches there is no shared memory and computers communicate with each other through a message passing so this is the key technology how the distributed approaches work the mechanism is they all talk to each other using the message passing protocols and the systems last is in a distributed computing a single task is divided among different computers so we have already discussed about it the benefit of doing this is we are getting the performance we are getting the better throughput of our resources now in order to understand distributed computing in more detail so basically distributed comes in three flavors cloud is part of that that we will cover in the very end so first is the clustered computing in the cluster computing all the nodes which are here to resolve the task they are of same types we could say these are the homogeneous nodes all the nodes which are resolving the problem you can see here they are having the same configuration they are working on pro, uh, solving the same problem and they are also of the same type this is the cluster computing and in this cluster computing approach the disadvantage is that all of the nodes need to be available uh, you could say that locally available so they should be locally available and they should be of same type this these are the two aspects of working with the cluster computing and what is the benefit of doing this they provide us to uh, the performance high throughput rate because all the nodes are contributing in resolving this uh, in providing the solutions 